Hello watchers and subscribers, welcome to the tutorial series for you we are desperately waiting for Android. First I would like to thank all my subscribers and watchers for giving me positive feedback for my Ruby tutorial series. After Ruby it's time for what Android. Now in this tutorial I will first show you how to install Java JDK and what softwares you really require for Android application development. I will start with beginning and take you through the advanced level. At the end of these tutorial series you will be able to make those apps that are installed in your smartphones that you really adore in your smartphones. Now let's move forward. So what actually we need for application development? First is the Java JDK and the second is Android ADT bundle. Now trust me guys you just need these two stuffs. But on the other hand, Java JDK, Eclipse IDE, Android SDK, Eclipse ADT bundle. Now what the heck, why I have written these two columns? Just kidding guys, you don't need all these stuffs, you just need these two stuffs because Android ADT bundle is equivalent to these three stuffs. Yes, if you download this Android ADT bundle from developers.android.com, you will get Eclipse IDE, Android SDK and also Eclipse ADT plugin. You don't have to download all these three stuffs one by one. These days you can automatically download all these three stuffs in a combination of Android ADT bundle. Now let me show you how and where to get this Java JDK and this bundle. Just open your browser guys and go to google.com. Just type Java JDK, hit enter right you just have to go to the first link of java se downloads from oracle.com these ad stuffs i just hate them seriously right just go to the first link now guys if you are using the mac os then you don't have to download the java jdk because the mac os automatically updates your java installed you don't have to update it or download it from site but if you are using windows then you have to go to the site and download the java jdk the looks and feels of the site is like this. You just have to click on this Java AC downloads, this JDK, Java development kit. This is the latest version 8U5. Maybe if you are watching these tutorials after few months or few years, then you might be getting 12U5 like this, whatever. Not an issue, just click on this. Right, you will be directed to the next page. Here, you have to accept the license, right? And my machine is actually 64 bit. So you have to select which OS you are using Linux, Solaris, whatever, Windows 32 bit, or whatever. Mine is 64 bit. So I will click on this download button. Right? It will just start my download. Here I have downloaded it. Just double click on it. Just click yes. Then just click on next. Right? Again next right yeah you're pretty done with the first part now let's install this android edit bundle just again go to your browser just type android edit bundle right hit enter right the first link is the android edit bundle yeah here it is from developers.android.com now guys if you're using mac or windows doesn't matter you just have to go to this link the looks and feels of site is like this right now here you can see download the SDK ADT bundle for windows right as I told you this ADT bundle includes Eclipse plus ADT plugin Android SDK Android platform tools all these stuffs are included in this bundle itself so you guys don't need to download all these stuffs one by one from many websites now this link is actually for windows if you are using mac or linux then just scroll down here under the download for other platforms just click on it you will find the ADT bundle for all these operating systems like linux 64 bit mac os i am using windows 64 bit so i can download the zip folder from here or i can download the zip folder for here also now just click on this download the sdk Yes, you have to agree to this service agreement. If you want, you can read all these boring stuffs, right? 
then select your bit subcomputer 64 bit download the SDK it will start downloaded after downloading guys you will get a zip file of ADT bundle windows 86 64 bit like this you just have to do what extract it then open it you will get two folders Eclipse and SDK one more application will be there guys SDK manager that I am not having guys because I actually downloaded all those stuffs from different websites one by one you just hit open this Eclipse folder you will find an Eclipse application here Eclipse.exe file just hit on this now it will ask for the path of your workspace where your projects or, or your application codes will be stored now guys just make a note of it always store your work in the D drive or E drive or F drive the drive other than C drive because if your local C drive gets affected with viruses then it is going to be a big trouble for you because your whole hard work of application will be erased my projects yeah hit ok yeah this is the path of my projects my application my workspace right hit ok now it may ask you that your Java is not found in your PC now you will ask yourself what the heck Shrix has just taught us how to install Java JDK don't worry guys you just have to go where to my computer hit properties go to your advanced system settings right then under advanced environment variables right you just have to hit new here lots of paths are here you just have to specify a new path to your Java JDK where it is stored just type Java Java underscore home all in caps right just go to your C drive where it is stored program files then Java this is JDK now just copy this path and paste it here right no bins no semicolon nothing you just have to paste the path of your Java JDK hit ok then again ok right again ok now you are good to go now when you open your Eclipse it will show you a welcome page just hit close now the looks and feels of the Eclipse is like this you are now good to go to make your Android application project now one more step is there guys I didn't talk about the Android SDK software development kit without that your Android tools is useless now when you open the Eclipse you may be asked where is your SDK SDK not found so in that case you have to provide the path where your SDK is stored now our SDK was stored in the downloads folder here there's a path of the SDK right this is in actually C drive now guys again SDK and Eclipse please store all these important stuff where in the D drive or E drive other than C drive because these are important stuffs which you need to preserve till the end of your development career now when you open the Eclipse you may be directly asked to locate the path of the SDK you will be shown this page like this or if you are not shown then simply go to Windows preferences then click on this Android then you will get this page you just have to provide the path here as I just showed you right now just browse here and provide the path where your SDK is stored my SDK is stored in the D drive now again guys please cut and paste it from the downloads folder and paste it somewhere in the D drive or E drive click OK right now when you click OK these are the stuffs which I have already installed in my laptop now you may be showed only Android 2.2 or few platforms so and if you want to install other stuffs like 4.0 4.4 I will just show you how to install all these Android SDKs these are actually the versions of Android so just hit apply then hit OK now you just go to Windows here you can see Android SDK manager it will show you a pop-up now here you can see loads of things I have installed these stuffs are actually guys 5 to 6 GBs of stuffs I have downloaded it and installed it and you guys don't have to install all those stuffs because I'm quite greedy now you just have to install few things like Android SDK tools Android platform tools then after that latest Android KitKat 4.4 just select it after that you can select the honeycomb also Android 3.0 for tablets then after that minimum Android 2.2 
is also required you have to install all these stuffs now guys these are the extras if you want you can install all these stuffs these are quite small files ranging from about 1 MB to 20 MB I've installed all these stuffs right just hit on install 10 packages it will start to install all these packages it will take time if you have loads of time or large net speed then you can install other Android APIs also like Android 4.0.3 Jelly Bean or whatever gingerbread whatever you like to install it's up to you thanks for having faith me in guys this is Shrek's from smart herd it's going to teach you all the android stuffs how to make real applications upload it in the play store how to place ads in your applications meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and do leave a comment below my video i would love to hear from you guys and do share my video thank you